Let me give you a few more examples of classroom management, which is basically teaching procedures. I don't assume that kids know anything. The biggest assumption teachers make is that they assume kids know what to do without first teaching, practicing, and modeling it. So even for homework, for example, what I'll do is I'll say, okay, let's assume I've given the, the homework assignment, and so we'll talk about it. What procedures are, you going, are we going to use? Well, let's assume uh, you decide you're going to do your homework at 5 o'clock, but you're playing basketball at 5 o'clock or, or Nintendo or some other game. You're really having a good time. There's no way you're going to stop and do your homework, except, oh, now you remember it's 5 o'clock homework time. Okay, where are you going to do your homework? Lie on the bed? In the kitchen table? Are you going to be watching television and switch tasking? I mean, there are certain things that you can multitask, like eating and watching television. But you cannot watch something and at the same time read. You are switch tasking. You're going back and forth, back and forth. The human brain cannot read something and listen simultaneously if it's going to be a, a different process. So, as long as you're going to do the homework anyway, put forth the effort and do it in a way that you're going to get some enjoyment out of it, since you're going to be doing it anyway. What materials will you need? Notice what I'm doing. I'm setting up a procedure to help the youngster help himself. So when homework time comes, he or she will already know how to do it. That's critical. Now, I'm talking about setting up a visual procedure. I will do the same thing, and I did the same thing, for example, with Mary, who was tardy to my second period class on a regular basis. So, of course, I had a conversation. Mary, what did you do or what do you do before you come to my class? And she said, well, I go to my lockers to get my books. I said, Mary, can you see yourself going to your locker before period one to get your books for period one and two? Yes. Is there anything else you do? Well, <laughs> Jane's in, my, in the, this class, and I walk right by her classroom, and I wait for her. Mary, can you see yourself walking right by Jane's classroom to come here in time? She said, yes. Now, what did I do? I set up a mental procedure for her to help herself. It is key. If you're going to be a successful teacher, do not assume kids know what to do. You literally have got to teach them and sometimes even creating a visual presentation. 